Okay, so I haven't done uh, my favorite products of the month in such a while because I haven't had any. I'm kind of a creature of habit when it comes to like beauty products or life. I'm more sensitive about like beauty products because I try to keep things natural as possible. I'm pretty blessed with good skin, so I try not to do anything at all. What the? You know what it is though? It's fish oil. Fish oil is like the magic fish pill. It's like hella huge. So if you have trouble selling big things, um, <laughs> too bad. But it's hella good for you. If you hate fish, then forget about it. Actually, you won't really taste the fishy, um, you know, residue when you burp. Probably. Speaking of fish oil, the first product I would like to favorite this month is um I don't know if you guys have Noni Noni uh, six years ago. Well, somehow my eyebrows disappeared. It wasn't my fault. It was the tweezers' fault. So I was looking up online on how you can naturally make your um a bodily hair grow, or actually just mostly like my lashes and brows. I've used like serums and stuff like that, but they just irritate my eyes too much. So I went the natural way. I went to Whole Foods and got some castor oil. I want to do a review once everything starts growing back in my face again. You see my lashes? I'm not wearing any fake ones or uh, my eyebrows. Wait, why is this tail longer than the other tail? Ooh. I'm actually kind of admiring like the spider-y, like clumpy look for eyelashes, you know? Oh, speaking of eyelashes, one of my favorites is the Voluminous Butterfly. This is by Lori L. Blackest Black. That kind of, that sounds racist. This one I picked up at Target about, I think, three weeks ago, and I'm almost out. It gives it that kind of like butterfly effect, but my lashes aren't really like a butterfly, like a butterfly. It's more of like a spider. It's gonna be like long and bold, but not like snuggy like. Shit scary. And speaking of lashes, these tweezers, it came with one of these like eyeler thingies. I found out that these are the best way for me to apply my lashes because do you ever apply your lashes and then get glue all over your eyes and then your eyes just become one hot mess and there goes the lashes. I have the most trouble applying false eyelashes on because shit's hard. So don't ever throw these away because these are awesome. I showed you guys this comb in a haul video once at Target I think. Since my hair is so thick, Sometimes you know when you get one of those like, I call them trailer trash bumps, <laughs> you don't get a smooth swipe with a comb. But this one, the bristles are like what you come a horse with. So if you're a person that likes to have that smooth, sleek, straight, um, I suggest using this. It's inexpensive. I think it was like six bucks. That's expensive. Another thing I bought from a haul actually, it's this Bikini Zone Shave Gel. I told you guys how it was going to work out. This is a shave gel for your lady. Ah! Mmm, it smells like like a man's soap. Sometimes I like to use like men's shaving gel. Using their shaving cream, it just feels so like, oh. I like to put something minty after a shave. Well, you know, not down there, but like anywhere. Cause it just, I feel like my pores are opening up. Hello. But for a drugstore product, this is amazing. Let me tell you something. It don't matter how much it's growing down there. It will get it all. Have you ever like nicked yourself down there when you're shaving and you nick yourself and it burns like hell? Don't worry, it's not an STD. It's just, but with this one, it like, it's actually really smooth and it glides on really nicely. So you guys know that I'm obsessed with Cetaphil. It's like 10 bucks at the store now, really? No. I'd rather buy Victoria's Secrets 5 for 20. But um, this one was actually way cheaper. I don't really have dry skin anymore because of the fish oil. So I was hesitant to use this Clean and Clear. Clean and Clear. Oil free step one. I use this in the morning. I only wash my face once a day. We get oily in the summer. Girl, my face is all oily. We can make like fried tilapia. We can, you know, make some fried bangos. But I have been using this every day to wash out my makeup. It's amazing if you have like packed on makeup. It'll take it off in like one wash. No. Speaking of taking your makeup off, sometimes when I only have eye makeup on, it's gentle eye makeup remover. But since it was summer, I've been wearing a lot of waterproof mascara because I sweat sometimes. You know, do you ever sweat right here? It's gross. So I needed something that was gonna remove waterproof mascara. Is this waterproof? So those of you guys are back in school, it's one of these like portable um, lunch caddy thingies. So it's like one of these three caddy thingies. You can put asparagus a piece of chicken or you know fruit it comes with a fork and it comes with a knife it's not one of those like flimsy cheap forks you know it's actually pretty sturdy just a really cool way to keep your foods fresh okay so lately one of my fitness trays has been juicing and one of the inspirational books for me is the smoothies for life i actually found this book online so you can check it out on Amazon. Excited to show you guys more smoothie recipes, especially now that the holiday is coming. Everybody's making room for their fat pants on. The only thing I'm looking forward to in the holiday is eggnog. <laughs>
with Rome. All right, so those are all of my favorite drugstore products of the month. So follow me on my social medias. They're all under Hey Jermaine. Here's my Instagram. Here's my Twitter. Here's my Facebook. Look at my dog right now. Howie, I go high. Hey guys, I will see you in my next video. Protect your cookie.